Hello Wanderers, I'm Tink11000, joining us is prolific artist Pat Morrissey Lewis. She'll be sharing what she likes about verses, her feelings about NFTs, and her experience with our Discord. Hello Pat, thanks for joining me today. So first off, why are you excited to be a part of the Versus NFT project? I guess twofold, the new technology that has has come out with um, blockchain and um, being able to securely play a game inside of uh, the, the digital realm. Um, the other reason is that it's a family-friendly game. And I, I think that uh, the world needs more of that. They need uh, games where families can sit down and play, um, reminiscent of the old D&D games. Um, I used to play D&D with my son, and we had a great time together. And um, so I'm really happy to see a game like that coming out. NFTs have brought a lot of change to the art world. What do you like about NFTs? Uh, just being able to get my art viewed around the world. And um, because it's a, a new technology to me and I'm not all that familiar with it, um, I guess um, I'm going to learn as I go. <laughs> I think lots of people feel that way. Some people are confused and don't know what to think about NFTs. Many have environmental concerns about crypto, which is why we chose to use the Tezos network. Tezos is an energy efficient proof of stake blockchain. Some networks use an entire country's worth of energy per year, but Tezos only uses about a household's worth of energy per year. Yeah, that, that was one thing that um, I really liked about it being on in the Tezos realm or what it, whatever, um, is that it's envi more environmentally friendly than uh, the, the any of the other cryptocurrencies. So I did really like that aspect of it. Your piece, Underground Scholars, was the second piece of verse art released and is the second chapter in the verses lore. What did you think about the story we made for your art? Yeah, I I really like how um, when my first piece got released and I went into Discord, which I'll probably talk about this on, on Saturday then, about going into Discord and then seeing how there's like a whole like little background story that goes, goes with it. And uh, it, that was pretty exciting. And I really liked what they had done uh, with my little gnome guy and the dragon and uh, how they created this whole aspect of uh, it being a library and they're like librarians and um, gathering information. And um, I just, I just really, really liked that. I do like the aspect of um, people being able to, make different choices and vote on them and um, kind of see where the storyline goes from there. Um, having that uh, sort of audience participation or um, sparking discussions between, um, I can imagine, you know, like um, in, in my experience, when I used to play D and D with my son and, you know, we would talk about what were we going to do next and, you know, how does this work and, and that kind of thing. And um, so it it could, you know, spark some really good conversations between, um, you know, family members and, um, you know, not just family, but uh, friends and um, having a team effort, I think, which is so important. I just really, really liked that. And it really spoke to me as being, you know, yeah, this can, you know, this can really be a family game, you know, that that people can play with, um, especially like with teenagers. That, um, you know, I think that a lot of times families, they, you know, it can, um, you know, it can be that kind of, I don't know, like a separate, not a separation, but kids and parents aren't interested in the same thing and if it's something that could be really fun for everyone um i think that that could be really special and so that's why you know i was excited to be in discord and see 
all this kind of unfolding. Thank you, Pat, for joining us today. If you haven't already, take a look at some of Pat's verses art, which you can find at mentorpop.com slash verses.